The combat positions of anti-tank missile unit soldiers are not much different from firing positions of other defenders of Ukraine. Their tasks are to destroy any enemy equipment within the range. The guys get ready to work in a matter of minutes. Servicemen work with the Ukrainian Stugna anti-tank missile system. The lounger is quite compact, but it is not easy to carry on your shoulders several kilometers to the positions. The launcher itself is 32 kilograms, the guidance device is 16, the console is 10, and the missile is 29 and a half kilograms. Were there times when you had to carry it all? We once had to walk and carry it five kilometers one way. It was in the Kharkiv region during the counteroffensive when we were forcing, when we were knocking out the enemy. One of the main advantages of Stugna is the ability to remotely control the complex. Working with the control panel is not difficult. Using the joystick, we aim at the target, then switch to combat mode. Synchronization takes no more than 15 seconds, and then we launch the missile to the target. The rocket lounger is equipped with a thermal imager and can operate in the dark. Soldiers say it is more difficult to carry out combat missions in total darkness, but it is at night that important targets appear. It was hard to hit the jeep, night, four kilometers, and it was moving behind the landing. We had to catch it to get it to pass between the trees. The commander was very happy when we caught it, because we couldn't do it for a long time. It was making deliveries to the infantry positions, bringing ammunition supplies. The Ukrainian lounger also effectively destroys enemy dogouts. The anti-tankers say that their motivation to work increases when they save the lives of their fellow soldiers by repelling Russian assaults. Of course, it's motivating. The guys are happy. Minus 20 with just one hit. The whole assault team is gone. The assault is cancelled. There's no one to climb and storm. Our guys are alive and well. Everything is fine. But the enemy is not sleeping either, the servicemen say. Every five minutes it rains shells on the positions of Ukrainian defenders. Most often they use drones. I still can't get the machine gun cleaned. You had to fire back. Yeah, I got shot all over me. It threw mines at us and flew away. They fly in, drop mines and whatever else they can. The Bahmut direction, where the guys carry out their combat missions, is still one of the hardest in Donetsk region, and the defenders here always have enough work to do. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, Yevgen Karmazin, UATV News.